Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about GOP Flickr. And this is a type of Flickr that comes from compression. Uh, in this case, it happens with drone footage. And you frequently see this in areas of drone footage where there's kind of a solid color, but there's you know some detail in it, much like we have here with this field. And this happens because of compression. And GOP stands for Group of Pictures. And it's a particular way of compressing video. And what the Group of Pictures stands for is that essentially, in this case, every eight frames you get a new keyframe. And so if we play this back, I'll just play a little bit of it back. When we play this back, hopefully you can see that every eight frames, there's a shift in the pixels. And it's very noticeable. It's like chunk, 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 chunk. Now it may not be that easy to see on this YouTube video. We do have the original footage up on the digitalanarchy.com website. You can go to digitalanarchy.com and download both the original footage here and the After Effects and Premiere Pro projects. And that may be a little bit better to follow along at home so you can actually see exactly what's happening. As highly compressed YouTube videos are probably not the best way to show compression artifacts. And that is indeed what we're doing here. But this is probably big enough that you can actually see the changes in the pixels happening at very regular intervals. And because it happens at these regular intervals, it's very noticeable. Now, if we turn Flickr Free on, as we are you know, zoomed in here, it's less noticeable. When you're looking at it this zoomed in, it's not quite as obvious what the difference is. This is without it. This is with it. Without Flickr Free, with Flickr Free. Now, there is a difference. But it becomes very apparent when you're looking at the entire image because the image tends to shimmer a little bit. And so with Flickr Free on, it shimmers a lot less. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this tutorial. So we have a shot here of lovely Maui. And the close-up I had was right over here, this field here. And you can see that if I play this back, or at least hopefully you can see. Again, YouTube may not be the best way to see this. But like I said, you can download the original footage from digitalanarchy.com. So if we play this back, you can see very subtle shifts. It looks almost like a sh shimmer. And it can be very distracting on a lot of different types of footage. Now you'll notice that you don't really see it on the ocean. It's really just in these areas of sort of flat color, but with a little bit of detail in it. And with Flickr Free turned on, you can see that the shimmer pretty much goes away. Flickr Free off, Flickr Free on. And so it results in a much nicer picture, much nicer video. And so the way to handle this with Flickr Free is usually a sensitivity of around 10, a time radius of 10, and a threshold of 100, and detect motion turned off. Now this works well if you have these very high drone videos as I do here. With detect motion turned off, this can often be a problem if you have time radius set to 10, because in this case, Flickr Free is looking at 10 frames after the current frame, 10 frames before it, for a total of 21 frames. And this can result in blurring. But in this case, it really doesn't. It just gets rid of the flicker for us. And so that works great. But there are probably gonna be situations, especially if there's a lot of movement, that you're gonna to wanna to have detect motion turned on, but you're gonna get more flicker removal if it's turned off. And I can show you an example of why you'd want to have it turned on. So in this case, the drone is rotating, it's turning, and this is causing a lot of blurring. 
And in this case, it's sort of manifesting as just a very soft, almost hazy picture. But if I turn Flickr Free off, you'll see the difference. Flickr Free on, Flickr Free off. Now, usually you're not going to want to have this kind of artifact going on. And if we turn Detect Motion on, you'll see it gets much closer to the original footage. Detect Motion on, Detect Motion off, on, off. But if I was going to do this with the original footage, or the original piece of footage that we're trying to deflicker, I would end up with a not quite as much flicker reduction as I do with having Detect Motion turned off. So if you can get away with it being turned off, that's the better way to go. But either way, it's going to result in some amount of flicker reduction, which is going to make for a much better looking video. And that's really all there is to it. We, of course, have other tutorials on digitalanarchy.com. Uh, specifically, there's another one for getting rid of drone prop flicker. So if you're running into a lot of flicker with your drone videos, Flicker Free is a really great way of solving a good portion of them. It's a pretty different problem, so it has a different solution. And of course, we have other tutorials on the basics of Flicker Free, which describe sensitivity and time radius and threshold in a lot more detail. But just know if you're trying to deal with this GOP Flicker issue, uh, sensitivity set to 10, time radius set to 10, and threshold set to 100 is a really good place to start, and then you can start kind of tweaking it from there. But like I said, download the original footage, the After Effects projects files, or the Premiere Pro project files, all from digitalanarchy.com. And you can play around with it and see for yourself exactly what the difference is. And this was all shot with a DJI Phantom Professional. So it's all 4K footage. In this case, I've applied it to an HD version of it, but the original file is 4K, and you can see how it works on that. And of course, at digitalarynkey.com, we have all of our other filters, Beauty Box, Light Wrap Fantastic, demos of all that stuff. We have a bunch of free filters that you can download. So lots of cool stuff at digitalarynkey.com, in addition to Flickr Free for After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, Avid, DaVinci Resolve, and many other open effects host apps. So check it all out and we will see you in the next tutorial.